Sorry, I just had to do that. Hello, YouTube. It, this is Shin Tiger Curl here, that dude in the straw hat bringing you yet another wrestling review. I'm, of course, joined by my fellow cohort and and internet and internet superstar Joe. Say hi, Joe. He represents the Wolf Pack. Well, it's Monday night. You know what that means? Time for some raw. Had a lot of had a lot of stuff happen last week. Will we see any kind of resolution to that kind of stuff? I got my notes. Let's get started. The COO, Triple H, comes out, and he decides to call out his best buddy, Kevin Nash. He's still a little bit pissed. He's still pissed at the fact that Kevin Nash lied to him last week about getting in a car, into a car accident. He wanted Nash. He got Punk. Punk comes out being well as awesome as he ever will, will be and still doesn't believe that Triple H had nothing to do with with Nash costing him the world title. Cue in Kevin Nash coming out to the old NWO theme that I was that I was attempting to do just a few minutes ago. Nash says that yes while he did lie he did it for Triple H because Triple H wasn't up to teaching CM Punk a lesson that he so richly deserves. Of course, Punk shoots another great promo, ripping into both um, Nash and his rickety knees, and Triple H. I'm starting to think that, that Punk is starting to dig a hole, a very deep hole, but I'm enjoying it. So, Nash decides, hey, let's just settle it. Since Johnny Ace, unbeknownst to Triple H, has signed um, Big Sexy to a, to a contract, he's an official member of the, of the Raw roster, so he wants CM Punk. Punk wants him too, so the so he asked Triple H to give him the match at Night of Champions. Triple H, not really liking either of them, says, "What the hell? You can two can beat the hell out of each other. I don't care. I don't want to see any of you anymore." So, Triple it was going to be Kevin Nash versus CM Punk at Night of Champions. I'm sorry, did I switch to TNA all of a sudden? These old guys getting matches on 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 TV. I mean, what's up with that? But let's go to something great. Randy Orton it comes out. Oh, and Triple H did mention at the start of the show that tonight will be a Super Raw with superstars from SmackDown on Raw. So, Randy Orton faces off against Dolph Ziggler, heavyweight champion versus United States champion. And honestly, this is a damn good match. Great match. This shows the in-ring skill of Dolph Ziggler to go move per move with Randy Orton. And this just shows that a lot of people have been saying that he could be main event material. All he needs to do is drop Vicky so he can get some heat of his own and get his charisma and his mic skills up a bit. And he, and I'll definitely welcome him into the main event picture. It was a very competitive match and a very nice counter to the punt by, um, by Dolph Ziggler. But in the end, it was an RKO, a rather sloppy RKO, that sealed Randy the victory. Sure if Dolph lost, but he looked good doing it. My hat's off to you, Dolph Ziggler. Anyway, Cena comes out to express his problems with a certain Mexican aristocrat who is the WWE champion, Abajo de Rio. But he's interrupted by the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. Now, if he was a few months ago, I, this would not amount to anything, but right now, Mark Henry is all but unstoppable as of late. And he pretty much, and so he wants to get some of Cena. Christian comes out, and playing the smarmy heel that we all know and love, says that he hates guys who whine and complain until they get what they want. Really, Christian? Have you looked in the mirror? Cena says, you know what, let's just get it on. So, they, they surround him, and they get ready to fight until... Seamus comes out, the Great White, as they're calling him now, to even the odds. Both Henry and Chris, Christian back down, 
But backstage, Johnny Laronitis decides to make it a tag match for the main event. It will be um, Cena and what is it? it will be Cena and Sheamus versus Christian and Mark Henry. Triple H decides to come in and says that he already made the match and told Johnny Ace in no uncertain terms that he's the boss, that he's the that he makes the matches, not him and his raspy voice. Next up, Punk versus The Miz. Again, another excellent match. Um, Miz and, and Punk really complement each other with their over-the-top personas and their great in-ring skills. This was a great match. Although, it would have been kind of bad to see either of them to lose since they both have a lot of steam going on. So, it ends in a foobar when Truth comes in to interrupt. Punk easily beats off the two of them until Big Sexy and his rickety knees click, 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 click make it to his way to the ring. After taking about 10 years to get into the ring, um, Punk is jumped by, by the awesome tr Truth and they set him up for Nash to give him the jackknife powerbomb. This is not a good sign for um, their match at Night of Champions. Next up, Sin Cara, or, some, or the second Sin Cara, if you haven't heard, look it up online, takes on Jack Swagger. This is an okay sort of match. Not the, one of their best, but still not a very bad match. Vicky Guerrero comes out to scout Jack Swagger, and and Dolph Ziggler comes out stating that, still stating that Vicky does not need anyone else but him as her clientele, and distracts Ziggler, giving it the opening that that Sin Cara needs to get the win. Not a good match. Not a decent compared to the other matches. This wasn't a. This was decent compared to the other matches, but nah, it did what it needed to do, except the storyline. Hopefully this will lead to Dolph going on his own, because he really needs it. Next up, we have the tag team champions, Kofi Kingston and Evan Bourne, now called Air Boom. Ugh. Personally, I'm calling them the Bourne Kings, and I and it's just all my viewers call them that. Fuck that Air, Bourne, Air, Air Boom shit. And they're taking on David Otunga and Joe Perfect. Tag team rematch for the titles. Now, this was a okay sort of match. Um, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. It was really, Not that I hate um, the Born Kings. They're a great team right now, but I just wasn't feeling this match. And all throughout the match, King was pretty much burying the two of them, and Michael Cole was calling him out on it. Yeah, that's like the pot calling the kettle... Uh, sky, I mean, space black. And this is coming from a man who routinely buries a guy because he's a vegan. Anyway, the Born Kings retain, and it appears Otunga and Perfect have been hearing what what um, the King has been saying about them, and gets in their face. This is actually the first bit of life that we've seen out of this tag team in, well, ever. And there's a sort of altercation between those those two and King. Next up, Kelly Kelly versus one of the Bellas, who gives a flying fuck which one of them is. Standard Divas match. Uh, Kelly Kelly, run the goddamn ropes. No wonder I hate you as a champion. You're scared. Ugh. Anyway, Twin Magic, the Bellas get a win over the Divas champion. Who, who fucking cares? Main event time. Christian and Mark Henry versus the great white Sheamus. And John Cena. And this is the first time Cena and Sheamus have ever teamed up together. Considering their history, it should be interesting. It was an interesting bout. Um, Sheamus was still injured from last week's match he had with Henry, so he was an obvious target for both Christian and Mark Henry. Cena gets in the ring, and we saw some. Uh, we saw a little bit of life out of Cena, out of his in-ring work with Christian. Long story short, Cena and Sheamus win. It's, and that's the show. Wait, there's more. Backstage, Triple H is watching, and Punk comes in. Triple H informs him that he spoke to the board of directors. The bad, the bad news is that Nash and Punk's match for Night of Champions has been canceled. The good news is he will be fa Punk will be facing the game, Triple H at Night of Champions. <laughs> Yes, yes, you're learning, WWE. Give us what we want. 
Instead of a, a nothing match with an old timer who can barely get to the ring in under five minutes, we got the still kind of fresh, we still have the still fresh Triple H versus the hot commodity that is CM Punk. And considering how much heat's been going on between those two, between Punk insulting his wife and, the, and, and his job routinely every week, this should be a great match. And that's Raw. Super Raw. That my, my thoughts? My verdict? Pretty damn good show. Had some great solid matches. Even the, even the ones that weren't as solid were pretty, were pretty decent. The only downside I had to say was another Triple H movie? Did the world really need another Triple H movie? Have we learned nothing from the chaperone? And Joe agrees too. But yeah, that's Raw. Tune in tomorrow night. That's right, tomorrow night for a special live Super Smackdown. As John Cena takes on Wade Barrett, CM Punk battles the great Kali, and for the final time, Randy Orton, Christian, the world title in a steel cage. So, what's going to happen tomorrow night? Just going to have to tune in. Until then, this is Shin Tiger Curl, that dude in the straw hat, and Joe, saying goodnight. And <laughs>